emit UV radiation that may cause skin cancer. Researchers at Brown University found people with as few as five sunburns early in their lives raised their risk of skin cancer by 80%, and that includes the deadliest type, melanoma. But you can take steps to protect your skin. ABC 7's Rebecca Vargas is joining us live tonight with more. Rebecca? Well, Haley, with Skin Care Awareness Month wrapping up and the summer kicking off here on the Sun Coast, it's important to know how to take care of your skin and protect yourself from the sun. It's that time of the year when beaches are full and sun exposure is higher than ever. And if you're not diligent, a time when you can contract the most common of all cancers, skin cancer. I've had a couple of bumps like on my nose that I've been concerned about, so I always make sure I put the uh, copper tone 50. Whether it be the lowest level basal cell carcinoma to the most dangerous malignant melanoma, but experts say I prevention starts at an early age. Animal. Sun damage is cumulative. We bank sun exposure, almost like a bank account. So what you're doing in your teenage years, your 20s, your 30s, is you're banking the damage. And then when you get older, it comes out. One beachgoer understands that all too well. As a teen, she thought she was invincible when it came to tanning. I spent been? six years of my life going tanning every single day. I haven't tanned in six years. I refuse to go into a tanning bed. I'm like religious about sunscreen. I know the damage has probably already been done. Dermatologists say you should check yourself monthly for signs of skin cancer. Just follow the ABCDEs. Asymmetry, one half not equal in the other. You want to look for irregular borders. That's what B stands for. C for irregular colors, white and black. D for diameter, something getting bigger. And the final one, really E, you want to think about that, something that's evolving. You had a very small spot, but every month it gets bigger and it gets more irregular. Application is key. If not applied correctly, even an SPF of 50 could be ineffective. The biggest mistake I see is that people don't put enough on. They trust the SPF number. Vacationers tell ABC7 they've learned the hard way from other family members who had skin cancer. Because my mom had skin cancer and I don't want to get it. As you make your way to the pool or to the beach this summer, or if you're even going out for just a short amount of time, make sure to apply that sunscreen at least 20 minutes before sun exposure and reapply every two hours. Haley. And Rebecca, are there any chemicals we should be, there are so many sunscreens on the market, but any chemicals we should be watching out for when we're buying our sunscreen? Well, the dermatologist we spoke with says to look for sunscreens that are pretty much 100% mineral based. They have titanium dioxide, zinc oxide. Those are the ones you want to look for and at least a 30 SPF with UVA and UVB protection. All right. As someone who had melanoma myself, I can just say how important it is to use that sunscreen and, and to buy that, that SPF 30 or higher. Thank you, Rebecca. ABC 7's Rebecca Vargas live on Lido Beach for us tonight. Now let's head over to Suncoast Traffic Watch. And